We end tonight with history in the making. Actor Tyler Perry's new film and TV studio is now open for show business more than 2,000 miles from Hollywood in Atlanta. Meg Oliver has some of Gail King's exclusive interview with the inspiring studio boss. Tyler Perry is the first African American to independently own a major film studio. It's the largest film complex in the country, bigger than the Burbank, California lots owned by Warner Brothers, Paramount, and Walt Disney Studios combined. Hollywood A listers celebrated Perry on Saturday. Beforehand, he spoke with CBS This Morning's Gail King. The New York Times said, You are the most successful mogul Hollywood has ever ignored. Do you think Hollywood gets you? No, I clearly believe that I'm, I'm ignored in Hollywood for sure, and that's fine. I get is, it. Wait a second, is that fine? It is. My audience and the stories that I tell are African-American stories that I grew up with and we speak a language. Hollywood doesn't necessarily speak the language. Who doing your hair? But Lord, Perry's Medea films have had universal like appeal and he hopes to build on his success. Rodney Ho has covered entertainment in Atlanta for decades. Is this considered the next Delta Airlines or Coca-Cola for Atlanta? When people bring up Atlanta, you'll think of CNN and Ted Turner, you'll think of Hank Aaron and the Braves and Coca-Cola, and you'll think of Tyler Perry. The studio is built on a former Confederate Army base. That irony is not lost on Perry, who named each of the studios after prominent African Americans in the film industry. Meg Oliver, CBS News, New York. And tomorrow on CBS This Morning, Gail goes inside Tyler Perry's massive new studio.